So lesson 40, part two, because I ran out of time on the last one. I want to work out two problems with you guys. All right, so here is one of them. Z to the negative third over M <coughs> times X to the fourth over M squared minus 3Z. This is Z, so it's not over M. All right, so that's our problem. So we're going to solve this one by using the distributive property. When I use a distributive property, the very first thing I do is I'm just going to take each term and put it to each part. So we're going to take each term and we're going to put it to each part. So when I do that, I get z to negative third x to the fourth over m times m squared minus 3z and then z to the negative third over m times m. Notice all I did was smash everything together. I didn't even try to combine anything. Now, in this case, I want to write everything in the numerator. So I'm going to do my work over here now. Bad arrow. I'm going to write everything in the numerator. So, anything that can, so a lot of stuff's going to stay, but all my answer, my entire answer, is going to go into the numerator. So when I do that, z to the negative third, x to the fourth stays exactly how it is. I have three m's on the bottom, because this equals m to the third. When I move m to the third up, I get m to the negative third. And then minus, I mean, uh, and then minus, on the next problem I have 3z to negative second because this is z to the first and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And then I move my two m's, m to which is m squared, so I'll be m to the negative second, and, which is, I know I wrote a small because I didn't leave myself room. And it's done. Okay? So all you got to do is move your exponents up or down, positive or negative, depending on which way you need to go. So that's that part of it. I want to review one more part. And that was the first portion <coughs> of the lesson, which is this one. M to the fourth p to the third, z to the tenth times d over m to the negative second, p to the fourth, z negative six, d to the negative second. Everything in the numerator. So we'll start with the m. m to the negative second, moving it up to the numerator would be, I'm adding two to that. So that's going to equal m to the 6. I'm going to move this one up. When I move p up, the fourth power is going to become negative 4. Right? So p to the negative first power. When I move the z up, that negative 6 is going to become positive 6. So that z to the 16th power. And then when I move the negative 2 from the d up, that's going to become d to the third because 2 plus 1 is 3. Alright, that's everything in the numerator. Okay? If you're told to do the same problem and write everything, the whole problem, in the denominator, well, I would reverse what I just did and I would work my way backwards. I put the M, I move the M down. So first off, I know it's going to be 1 over. If I move that m down, instead of positive 4, it would become negative 4. So that's m to negative 6. The p would become... P to just p. Yeah. It would just be p, or p to the first power, but we don't write that, right? I move the z down, and that's... That would be to the negative 16th. Oops, I didn't write the z. Oops. Mess that up and I can't erase it. 
d to the negative 16th, and then I move the d down, that's d to the negative third. Notice that the exponents look exactly opposite of when I put them all in the numerator. So that should be another way to help you 